Governor of Connecticut Dan Malloy had a debate with his Republican opponent, Tom Foley, and they ended up arguing about their yachts. Charles says sapphire is a type of gemstone and the name of Daniel Malloy's boat. Odalisque is a type of female slave or concubine and the name of Tom Foley's boat. What made you choose these names for your vessels? And if you didn't choose the name, why have you not changed it? Well, I don't have a boat anymore. I did have a, 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 a boat uh, that, that had the name Sapphire, and it was born with that name. <laughs> and, and it cost money to change the name. You have to uh, scrape the, the stuff off, and I wasn't about to do that. So uh, I was more than happy to have Sapphire for a period of time. So it was an and inherited it, name. It, it was an inherited name. Uh, if I had a boat named after a sex slave, uh, I would have changed the name. Uh, the idea that one would run for governor of the state of Connecticut uh, with a $5 million uh, yacht registered in another country as opposed to our own state uh, and, and continue to carry on a name uh, that represents a sex slave um, is really quite horrendous. Well, aside from the name, uh, you fault him for having a yacht. I mean, we have no, no, hundreds I, and thousands of people along the Connecticut shoreline who make <laughs> their living servicing and selling yachts and motorboats and sailboats. Not, not too many people have a $5 million yacht and don't pay any uh, income taxes for three years in a row. And not too many people have a $5 million uh, yacht that's registered in, in another uh, 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 country. Uh, and not too, too many people I know have a, a yacht that's named after a sex slave. All right, well, let's let Tom answer the name, <laughs> the name of the boat uh, and, yeah, and, and yeah. other related The governor's <laughs> obviously not going for the boat owner's vote. <laughs> and by the way, I'm the, certainly the, not going the governor, for the sex slave vote. The either. governor was in arrears <laughs> on his boat. He, it was a, it would, may have even been repossessed, but it sat in a yard in Stanford because he hadn't part, paid the yard bills for years, which he managed to pay shortly before the election in 2010. Uh, at least I pay my bills. Uh, listen, uh, Odaliska uh, is is a. Uh, I'm a great enjoyer of the arts and, and culture, and Odaliska are the names of many great paintings, include, including the masterwork by Angra and, and a lot of. Uh, they were used as models by uh, Matisse, and so it was named for that. So it's a highbrow name. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, no, it's. A, I think it's a very nice name, but boats are usually. Uh, have a, 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 f a female name associated with them. It's, it's because the gender of boats historically were, were it was a she, and uh, so m many people name their boats after women uh, uh, or uh, something feminine. And, and uh, Odalisque really means uh, a, a beautiful woman, a beautiful thing in the art world. It doesn't mean a sex slave. So. Tom, Tom, you've asked me a question. Let me ask you one. You have a daughter. Do you think it's appropriate to have a boat named after a sex slave? I'm actually, believe it or not, not 100% with Malloy here and not with the Democrats here because, I mean, the implication is, oh, you have a boat named X, therefore, I'm not saying he supports sex slavery, but his boat is named after a sex slave. It, to me, it seems like a cheap, petty political point because we all know this guy doesn't fucking favor sex slavery. Nobody favors fucking sex slavery who's running for office in the United States of America, no matter how grotesque a Republican they may be. To me, the bigger point and the bigger argument that Malloy should have brought up more and spoken more about is that this guy, he is a multi, multi millionaire. He has fighter jets, plural, there's an S at the end of that, jets, he has this yacht that they're talking about. He has uh, vintage uh, cars, including a Ferrari. And he didn't pay income taxes in the last three years. Okay, that's your point, Dan. God, I wish that there was a Democrat who would let me run their campaign because they would win the election by 412%, even though that's not possible. But they would. Because you have to focus on the right things that make sense and hammer away on it. The fact of the matter is, this guy is the real 47%. That's your argument. That's your argument. Oh, remember when Mitt Romney spoke about 47%? I'm sitting across from him right here. He's a multi-multi-millionaire. He has a yacht. He has fighter jets. He has a Ferrari and many other vintage cars. And this guy paid uh, no income taxes. How much did you pay, Mr. Construction Worker, Mr. Teacher, uh, Mrs. Accountant, whatever? 
There's your argument. You bring up that, you harp away on that, and you don't let him escape from that. You make him uh, feel it because he's been a welfare queen for the past X amount of years. But the idea that it's, oh, your boat's named after a sex slave. I guess you support sex slavery. Come on. That's a, that's a cheap point. But the, the other aspect of this is, look at what our politics has become in America. We have the ruling elite politicians debating about their yachts. Mm, yes, my yacht is named like this. My yacht is named after a Greek goddess. What's your yacht named after? Mm. Fuck off. Fuck all you guys, man. What I, what I want is a true representative of the middle class, a true representative of the hard-working American people, somebody who can sympathize and empathize and understand and fight for paid vacation days and shorter work hours and fight for a higher minimum wage and more unionization and fight to end our wars overseas and fight to end corruption and money in politics. But uh, I don't see that in this race. And to be clear, if I was in Connecticut, I would be voting for Malloy because Malloy is way better than Foley. But either way, I don't see a system here that's really helping out the little guy or helping out the middle class. I see a system where two jack-offs are arguing about their yachts.